Hello everyone, welcome to week two, community development work and international aid. Hope you enjoyed week one, I did, and uh, yeah, looking forward to week two. I, I just thought I'd broadcast outside today. It's a beautiful day and I'm here in the, on the borderline between Thailand and Myanmar, where I've been working for quite a while. But as you can see behind me, there's rice fields. It's the rain season and um, yeah, people have just planted the rice. So I thought it might be a nice backdrop for a week two. And week two, we'll be focusing on a bit of history and theory. So history and theory of community development, international aid. So um, yeah, always important to look at history. So yeah, activity two, there's some, some, some videos there, some videos for you to look at. Um, and then you can post your thoughts about uh, those videos, which uh, about history really. And um, yeah, they, yeah that, there's a forum for you to post on. Activity three is reading, reading a couple of chapters. Um, oh, sorry, activity four is reading. So yeah, really, yeah, we really recommend that you read chapter two of Cox and Poir and chapter three of Jim Life, uh, which is the uh, text called uh, Community Development in Uncertain World. Yes, yeah, so have a look at that. Uh, important to do some reading this week and you'll see that those readings are basically on theories and the, the, the Cox and Poir is a bit of a mixed um, uh, integrated approach uh, but you'll find that the, the Jim Cox chapter 3 is focused on uh, social justice very important concept alright activity 5 is about is focused on a man called Jeffrey Sachs so yeah, he's a oh big truck going past. I thought I picked a quiet place here, but yeah, with Jeffrey Sachs, important fellow. So if you watch the videos, you will learn about him, who he is, and why he's important. And you can also uh, you can also post on a forum. There's a couple of videos to watch. Activity six is that you yeah, have a go at finding an international uh, community development project. So yeah, just see if you can find one and post a bit of information about it. Activity seven is really a summary of the week. There's a few guiding questions for you to post on a forum of what you um, discovered through the week. And then the, then finally, activity eight is our workshop. So yeah, I've, I've gone ahead and changed the workshop to Thursdays at 7 p.m. So I'd like to keep it at Thursday, 7 p.m. if um, there's no strong objections. So please email me or let me know if it's a big problem for you. All right, well, um, enjoy the week at, ahead and I'll be looking out for your activities on our Moodle. Okay, cheerio for now.